Hello and welcome to our demonstration today of the SparkyMate 493 BTL electrical installation tester from Clipsal by Schneider Electric. SparkyMate performs tests in accordance with ASNZS 32007 Section 8 for the safety of an electrical installation. Tests include earth continuity, insulation resistance, polarity, circuit connections, fault loop and RCD trip. Firstly, we note that the control panel has test buttons that follow the order of tests outlined in ASNZS 32007 Section 8. However, tests can be carried out in any order. We can see that the buttons are colour coded, red to indicate powered or live tests, or orange for unpowered, dead tests. A number of tests such as the earth continuity and fault loop, colour coded red and orange can be performed on installations where supply is available and installations where supply is not available. In this video we aim to show you how quick and easy it is to fully test and log the test results of an electrical installation using only one test instrument. Let's take a brief look at some of the tests on offer. We're using the SparkyMate 493 BTL with Bluetooth logging. First we'll bring up the Sparky Log app and pair SparkyMate with our smartphone. Now we'll start a new job for today's demonstration and call it One High Street. Main Earth Continuity Firstly, the resistance of the main earthing conductor from the earth electrode to the multiple earthed neutral or MEN connection shall not be more than 0.5 ohms. Using the 493L optional test lead set, attach SparkyMate's active and neutral clips firmly to the earth electrode. Attach the SparkyMate earth clip by way of an uncoiled earth extension lead with a known resistance, the resistance of which can be measured by SparkyMate, to the MEN. Press the earth continuity button. SparkyMate measures and displays the total resistance of the main earthing conductor and the earth extension lead. Protective earth continuity. Every socket outlet and every non-double insulated lighting fixture requires a protective earthing conductor to be bonded to the neutral at the MEN connection in the main switchboard. Simply plug SparkyMate into a live socket outlet and press earth continuity. SparkyMate uses the neutral conductor as a probe lead to measure and display the resistance of just the protective earthing conductor. The maximum allowable resistance depends on the protective device. Refer to ASNZS 32007 with Amendment 1 July 2009 and check Table 8.2. This table is also in the 493 Series Handbook. Insulation Resistance Thermoplastic sheathed cabling or TPS cabling for obvious reasons must provide very high insulation resistance between live conductors and earth. The insulation resistance of an entire installation can be performed at the switchboard using the 493L test lead set. For our demonstration today, we'll run an insulation resistance test from a final sub-circuit at a socket outlet. SparkyMate tests the integrity of connections in junction boxes and cable insulation from the switchboard to the socket outlet. The insulation is stressed by applying a direct current of either 250 volts or 500 volts. Firstly, turn off the circuit breaker for the sub-circuit under test. Press the insulation resistance button. Select the required conductors to be tested. Now choose either 250 volts or 500 volts. Do not use 500 volts if there are sensitive devices connected to the circuit. These devices normally come with their own warning and should not be tested at 500 volts. For our demonstration today, we can use 500 volts. Now the insulation is being stressed. We are looking for a result of more than 1 meg ohm. Note that some protective devices can add extra resistance to the measurement and may need to be disconnected for the insulation resistance test. Polarity. The polarity of the installation is first tested at the switchboard using the 493L test lead set. For your safety, testing the polarity of the consumer mains can only be performed using the CAT4 600 volt probes. For our demonstration today, we'll run a polarity test from a final sub-circuit at a socket outlet. 
First we need to make sure that the active and neutral are not reversed. If the active and neutral are reversed, sparking mate displays hazard A and N reversed. If the active and neutral are correct, sparking mate displays the mains voltage and mains frequency. Now we'll turn off the socket outlet switch and make sure that sparking mate displays no mains connected. This ensures that it is the active being switched and not the neutral. If the neutral is being switched by mistake, sparking mate will display hazard no neutral. Next we need to ensure that the neutral and earth are not reversed. If the circuit is protected by an RCD and the neutral and earth are in fact reversed, the RCD will trip instantly when you plug sparky mate in. If the circuit is not protected by an RCD, disconnecting the sub-circuit neutral conductor at the MEN should cause sparky mate to display hazard no neutral. If the neutral and earth are reversed by mistake, then sparky mate will display hazard no earth with the neutral disconnected. After a full check and any faults rectified, press polarity and you'll see polarity correct. Correct circuit connections. Here we must importantly check that the earthing system is not energised. If there is a short circuit, or certain wiring transpositions, voltage will be present on the protective earthing conductor. Sparky Mate detects this dangerous condition and displays either danger, voltage on earth, or danger, voltage on E or N. Interconnection of conductors between different circuits can be checked by turning off the associated circuit breaker for the sub-circuit under test and checking that Sparky Mate displays no mains connected. After a full check and any faults rectified, press circuit connections and you'll see circuit checks OK. Fault loop impedance. Simply plug Sparky Mate into a live socket outlet. Press the fault loop test button. Sparky Mate applies many brief loads across active and earth so as not to trip the RCD but measure the fault loop impedance. Sparky Mate then displays the complete fault loop impedance of the protective earth to the MEN, the upstream neutral conductor and the active to the 240 volt transformer in the street. The maximum allowable impedance is 1.53 ohms for a standard 20 amp power circuit or 3.07 ohms for a standard 10 amp lighting circuit. All of the maximum values can be found in ASNZS 302007 table 8.1. This table is also in the 493 series handbook. RCD trip, commonly known as a safety switch. Firstly, the RCD under test must be tested using its own integrated test button. Now turn on the RCD and plug SparkyMate into the associated socket outlet. Press the RCD trip button and SparkyMate displays warning the power may be cut, do you wish to continue? Choose yes and then OK. Sparky Mate starts ramping up the fault current between active and earth. The RCD trip time and trip current is displayed. We can also test the RCD performance to ASNZS3760, in-service safety inspection and testing of electrical equipment. Repeat the RCD trip test setup, but select ADV for advanced RCD test. Sparky Mate briefly displays the advanced RCD test mode startup screen. You can now press the right arrow button to choose a firing angle of 0 degrees, 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Press OK and this is the point in the AC waveform that the trip current will be applied. Next, press the right arrow button to choose the required trip current between 5 and 150 milliamps. After pressing the OK button, you will receive a final warning that the RCD could trip at the selected firing angle and trip current. Pressing the OK button again causes Sparky Mate to apply the selected trip load at the selected point in the waveform and trips the RCD. The RCD under test should not trip at half its rated trip current. 30 milliamp RCDs should trip within 300 milliseconds, 10 milliamp RCDs should trip within 40 milliseconds, and all RCDs should trip within 40 milliseconds at five times their rated trip current. After testing is completed, Sparky Mate will turn itself off after 60 seconds, or you may press the off button to manually turn it off. Record of verification. You will have noticed that during this demonstration we have pressed the log button after each favorable test result. Sparky Mate with the 493 BTL Bluetooth logging option 
automatically sends and logs the test results on your smartphone, tablet or laptop with the free Sparky Log app. This record with the press of a button can now simply be converted into a PDF document and emailed to the customer. Thank you for watching our demonstration of the SparkyMate 493 electrical installation tester from Clipsal by Schneider Electric. Get yours today at Sparky Direct.